men full of faith being filled in spirit who practice speaking for the Lord by faith. As believers in Christ, we need to be filled in spirit and spontaneously speak by the spirit of faith, speaking for the Lord and speaking Christ to one another, we need to drink of the spirit, be filled in spirit, and flow the spirit out for others to receive and drink him. Amen. Our God is a speaking God, he came to us by means of his speaking, the gospel, and he does all things by his speaking. He appeared to Moses in a burning bush and spoke to him. He appeared to the prophets and spoke to them. The way God expresses himself is by his speaking, and the way we express God and represent him is by speaking by the spirit of faith. Everything begins with God speaking. We speak a lot of things, but not much may happen when we speak. However, when God speaks, things happen, and even things that don't exist come into being by his speaking. He came to us as a man, and this man is Jesus Christ, the embodied word of God. He is the word becoming flesh to tabernacle among us, full of grace and reality. When we became believers by receiving Christ as our faith, we were infused with Christ as the word of God, and faith was generated in us. Now day by day we are learning to enjoy the Lord and His Word through the exercise of our spirit, and we are also learning to speak for the Lord. We believers in Christ have been made witnesses of the living Christ, as witnesses of Christ, we are speakers of Christ, and we speak what we have seen. The disciples of Christ were to wait in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit came upon them as power, and they were to be witnesses of the living Christ both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth, Acts 1 8. This is what we are, we are not preachers or any other kind of thing, we are witnesses of Christ, witnessing to others of what we have seen, enjoyed, and experienced of Him. We bear witness to how sweet, dear, comforting, and caring He is. We testify to others of the Christ we have enjoyed and experienced in our daily life. We simply testify of what He has spoken to us, and we tell others of His virtues. The disciples of Jesus testified to others of Jesus and His death and resurrection. Paul boasted in the cross of Christ, and he yearned to know Him in the power of His resurrection, being conformed to His death. We are witnesses of these things in which we have seen Christ and in which He has appears to us. What a Christ we have! Being filled in spirit until we overflow by speaking for the Lord and speaking Him forth. How we thank and praise the Lord that our God is not dumb but a living, speaking God. Idols cannot speak or hear, and those who worship them are just like them, but our God is living and speaking, and we are the speaking people of our speaking God. Even more, when we were baptized, Christ baptized us in the Spirit into the body, and He gave us to drink of the one Spirit, 1 Corinthians 12 13. On one hand, He put us into the Spirit, on the other hand, we are drinking this Spirit. We are in the Spirit and the Spirit is in us, we have been baptized in the Spirit and the Spirit is our drink every day. The result is that we are filled, saturated, and soaked with the Spirit, when we're filled in Spirit, we overflow with what fills us. Our being filled in Spirit qualifies us to speak for the Lord, for we cannot but speak Him forth to those around us. Hallelujah! Ephesians 5 18 exhorts us not to be drunk with wine, in which is dissoluteness, but be filled in Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and psalming with our heart to the Lord. Amen. How can we speak to one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs? It is by being filled in Spirit. We need to be filled in Spirit until we overflow by speaking for the Lord and by speaking Him forth. As members of the body of Christ, we need to be filled in Spirit unto all the fullness of God, as we spend time with the Lord and allow Him to fill us, we will overflow with the Christ we have enjoyed. We overflow with the Christ that fills us by speaking to one another, v. 19. This is our testimony, when we enjoy the Lord, we have an overflow of Christ to speak to others, and we are spontaneously speaking for the Lord and speaking Him forth. When we enjoy the Lord in the morning and contact Him throughout the day, it is easy for us to overflow in the meeting in the evening by speaking for the Lord and speaking Him forth. This should be our normal daily living, we Christians are a speaking people. We should not be dumb or silent people, for the God we worship and enjoy is a speaking God. The dumb idols, 1 Corinthians 12 2, make their worshippers dumb, however, our living and speaking God makes us living and speaking. It is such a sad situation for Christians to attend so-called Christian services in which they don't speak or function. It is so sad to see that many Christians worship God in a dumb way, not by speaking for the Lord or speaking Him forth. It is our privilege and responsibility to be filled in spirit with the Holy Spirit until we overflow with the Lord and speak for Him. May we not be silent but be filled in spirit, speaking to one another concerning our wonderful Christ. May we be those bubbling over with words about the Christ we have experienced in our daily life. When we come together in the meeting, we need to bring our portion of Christ, for each one of us has something of Him to share with others. Our God is a speaking God, 
and we as his worshippers are also speaking people. All saints should be speakers in the church meetings. 1 Corinthians 14 19, 26, 31. Many times when we come together, however, we are happy to chat with one another before the meeting, but when the time comes to share in the meeting, we may not have much to say and so we're quiet. Sometimes there's silence on our side when we're in the meeting, for we're not filled in spirit. We need to exercise our mingled spirit and realize that we are in the spirit and the spirit is in us. Romans 8 4, 6, 10 to 11, 14, 16. This makes us fully qualified and able to function in the meetings by speaking for the Lord and even by speaking Him forth. Our qualification to speak for the Lord is not our going to a Christian seminary to learn to speak eloquently or by going to a Bible school to learn how to speak for God. We are qualified to speak for God by being filled in spirit and overflowing by speaking for the Lord. On one hand, we overflow with Christ and speak for the Lord when we're filled in spirit. On the other hand, the way for us to be filled in spirit is to speak for the Lord, sing, and psalm. The way to be filled in spirit is by singing and psalming, by speaking for the Lord. We don't have to wait for inspiration or to have the feeling to speak, we simply need to sing and psalm with our hearts to the Lord. This is the way to be spiritual and to be filled in spirit. The more we speak for the Lord, the more we are inwardly filled with Him. If we feel that we are offended by others, this is a sign that our soul is not filled with the enjoyment of Christ. We need to seek to be filled with the Lord, filled with the enjoyment of Christ, by speaking for the Lord, and our being will be occupied with the Lord to the extent that there will not be any negative element in our being. Lord Jesus, we want to be filled in spirit, speaking to one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Amen, Lord, we want to be filled with the Holy Spirit in our spirit until we overflow with Christ by speaking for the Lord. May we be filled in spirit unto all the fullness of God so that we spontaneously speak to one another concerning Christ. We want to keep drinking the Spirit to be filled in spirit until we overflow by speaking for the Lord and speaking Him forth to others. Hallelujah, we all are qualified and able to speak for the Lord by speaking Him forth. Amen, Lord, we exercise our spirit of faith to be filled in spirit and to speak for the Lord and minister Him to others by our speaking. Being men full of faith who practice speaking for the Lord by faith. This week we have been enjoying the matter of speaking by the Spirit of faith, as believers in Christ, we have a spirit of faith, and we need to speak one with the Lord and in the Holy Spirit. For this to happen, we need to be men of faith, men full of faith and filled in spirit, and we also need to practice speaking for the Lord by faith. Regarding the matter of speaking for the Lord, we need to practice this, speaking for the Lord is not something that comes naturally. For the sake of the saints, for the sake of the Lord's testimony, we need to practice being those who speak for the Lord. On one hand, we need to be men full of faith, and on the other hand, we need to practice speaking for the Lord. We need to practice speaking not only in the meeting but even by ourselves, we should speak to the air, to the angels, to the demons, to the pets, and even to inanimate objects. Even God, before He spoke to men, spoke to nothing. We may even go to the mountain or to the sea and speak to the mountain or the sea. When we speak, we need to practice speaking by the spirit of faith, exercising our spirit to push the words out. We need to speak with boldness from being filled inwardly and outwardly by exercising our spirit of faith. We should not trust our feelings but trust the Word of God. Everything has been accomplished, the Spirit is within us and also upon us, and we have the boldness to speak for the Lord. Before we speak, we need to deal with our sins thoroughly. For us to have the boldness to speak, we need to have a thorough confession of our sins. 1 Tim. 1 4 speaks of God's economy and faith, and the next verse links faith with a good conscience. For us to have a healthy faith, we must deal with our sins thoroughly. To speak for the Lord, we must be equipped and prepared, we must have a reserve supply. This reserve supply comes from our having a daily contact with the Lord and His Word. As we contact the Lord day by day, we are constituted with His Word and we learn the spiritual terminology in His Word, the spiritual phrases, the spiritual clauses, and the spiritual sentences. When we speak the Word of God, we need to learn the Word very accurately and speak every point. We should not speak the way we remember things but be precise and accurate. We shouldn't speak God's Word in a vain way without any experience of our own, rather, we should spend much time with the Lord daily and then speak the Word of the Lord according to experience. And we should shepherd others into experiencing the Lord and speaking for the Lord according to their experience. When we speak for the Lord, we need to exercise our spirit and even push out the words by releasing our spirit. And the tone of our speaking should not be the tone of preaching to others but rather, we should speak to express the Lord in our speaking. To be a proper person speaking for the Lord, we need to be those who have a proper character. Without a proper living, without having a proper character, our speaking will have no backing. A proper daily living one with the Lord is the proper base for us to speak for the Lord. 
we may not feel that we want to speak for the Lord, but we need to stand against our disposition. This is to go to the cross and speak in spirit for the ministering of Christ to others for the building up of the church as the body of Christ. The center of what we speak must be Christ and the church, we shouldn't focus on anything else except Christ and the church. As for our heart, regardless of how inadequate we are, we need to have a heart to see after Him. May we be encouraged to seek the Lord and learn from Him, He's the trainer, the teacher, the one who perfects us. May we be men of faith, persons full of faith, and may we learn to speak by the Spirit of faith. May we be such persons full of faith and of the Holy Spirit that others would imitate our pattern and our faith. Lord Jesus, we want to be persons full of faith and of the Holy Spirit who speak for the Lord by the Spirit of faith. Amen, Lord, fill us with Yourself. Fill us with Your Word. Saturate us with the living Word of God so that we may overflow and speak for the Lord by the Spirit of faith. Be our boldness as we speak. Shine on us and expose anything that stands between us and You. Apply the blood to our sins and trespasses, and make us clear channels of your life. We want to hold faith and a good conscience, and we want to be equipped and constituted with your word to speak for the Lord. Give us the experiences we need, Lord, for us to release our spirit in our speaking and be filled in spirit, speaking for the Lord by the spirit of faith.